back to Ram Vision. Head coach Ryan Williams steps in to discuss an undefeated 2017 as Colorado State has rolled off five consecutive victories. Coach, let's go back to when we last talked. You were coming off the road. You were beginning your Mountain West contest. You lost one at home to Boise to end 2016, but since then it has been five straight. What has been working so well for your squad to be as dominant as you have been in 2017? Well, I, I think the two biggest areas, we, we're shooting the ball a lot better than, than we did earlier on in the, the year. Um, and I think we're, we're taking care of the basketball. You know, we've, the, the games where we haven't played as well, we've had a lot of unforced turnovers. Mm -hmm. And our ball security has been really good as of late. And uh, it just gives us more shot attempts at the basket. And that's, that's always a good thing. Yeah, that assist to turnover ratio has been absolutely impeccable over the last three contests. But one of the things that you've been able to count on throughout your entire season has been your senior leadership. Ella Gustafsson, Ella Nistrom, both giving you what you need at the same time. Before it was a little bit one or the other. Now they're coming together. What has changed? I just think as you you go through the course of a, a season and uh, you get in the grind of conference, you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. It, it's it's you know, we have five games left in, in Moby Arena, and those kids know that. And so I just think the the focus is greater, the urgency is is greater. And I think they learned throughout that stretch early on in the year that, wow, I'm pretty important to this basketball team, and I have to be consistent with, with my performance. And the more consistent they've been, the better we have been. Uh, but we've had some other kids step up um, and, and play really well as of late, too. But uh, Ellen and Ellie, absolutely having wonderful senior seasons. Yeah, and it's a great segue as we go back to that victory on the road at New Mexico. It was Mayan Ham with a career high 16 points. And I asked her in our post-game conversation, that three-point shot, I don't know if that was on a lot of scouting reports out there, but you've seen it in practice, haven't you? She's just somebody, she's one of our more consistent shooters in our shooting drills. And we've always known Mayan can shoot it, but to, to gain the confidence and to be able to shoot it in a, in a competitive game, that's a whole different world. And sometimes you need a couple games seeing that ball go in the basket uh, before you really believe that, that you can be a maker. And she was, she was outstanding at New Mexico, and she was shooting with great confidence and uh, really led us to, to that big victory in the pit where you know, it's really, really difficult to win. And I think anybody who's been watching it here at Moby and here at uh, CSURams.com on the Mountain West Network has seen that confidence. Just the release from Mayan Ham has just been outstanding. Another player who developed that confidence, another career high 16 points. Amanda Cansey comes off the bench. She was critical for you in end of quarter situations that propelled you to a big home victory. Her confidence has got to be really root through the roof right now, right? Yeah, and, and Amanda's had a, a, she had a tough stretch right after the first of the year just because you know, she, her minutes weren't consistent. And it's it's tough to come off the bench and, you know, in a minute here and a minute there and, and be really productive and to, to get a feel for the game. And uh, she had a great opportunity against Fresno State the other night to get consistent minutes. Uh, and she, too, saw the ball go in the baskets and the confidence just uh, really, really grew. Um, and she backed it up with a, a nice performance the other night, too, against Utah State. Um, and you, she's somebody that we believe can shoot the basketball. She's 6'3 and can bring the big kids out on the perimeter. Uh, but it, again, it's, I'm just proud that she stayed with it. Um, you know, that when the opportunity came, she took advantage of it. And the defense from Kansi is critical as well, a big six foot three body. She can handle some of those post players that you run into down low. So getting it done offensively and defensively. So coach, final question for you. You're starting to get into that section where you're seeing teams, tw teams twice now. You're running on the road, you go to San Jose, you'll see San Diego State for the first time. But now there's a long stretch of they've seen each other, you know what's gonna happen. How does your team adjust or do you just try to keep better and do what you do? Yeah, I think you, you can make small adjustments here and there, um, but at the end of the day, I, I think when you play a team the second time, it's about who's going to make basketball plays, who's going to relax and play. Um, you know, we know how to counter almost everything that a defense is going to throw at us right now, and so does the opponent. You know, can, can you counter that and just make the right basketball play? Uh, I think that's, that's crucial. You know, we've, we've going on the road here to San Jose State uh, on Wednesday night and uh, had an overtime game with mm -hmm. them. Uh, the, the first time around and so I think if we can go on the road do what we've been doing and just make basketball plays just play basketball uh, I like our players and I feel like every single night our players are good enough uh, to put ourselves in a position to win you can catch that uh, road game on csurams.com and Ram Vision of course we'll be back it's a brief road trip as San Diego State comes here to Moby Arena on Saturday at 2 we'll see you right here if not there then back here at Ram Vision for our recap next week thanks coach all right thanks man see you then